southern, so, but I'm up here, so. Yeah. I'm below it. Yeah. My, mine's on the baseline. Gotcha. And it's real weird. Yeah. They changed it because they get. They didn't have that mute button. took away a lot of his because he was all the way up here. Who was? The, the, this district. Okay. Two used to be all the way up here. Okay. Yeah, that's why it didn't really. Dr. Wilson, can you hear me? I can, Mr. Watkins. It's a pleasure okay. to. Okay. The mute button was on. That's <laughs> not my computer. <laughs> no. Uh, Loud and clear. I show, I show we're a minute to <clears throat> Bill. Welcome, Stephanie. You're the only audience member. Thank you for being here today. Everybody's up there. It's like I haven't seen that for a while. They even let me up here. I was going to say, what is, go what is going on now? <laughs> we got invited. didn't have to sneak up, right? We had to have him here in person to make sure he, I could turn his mic on and off for dogs him. Dogs or cats? Ooh. Cats or dogs? Yep. Yep. I show six o'clock, so I'm going to call this meeting special hearing and regularly scheduled board meeting of the EVIT governing board to order. We'll do the public hearing portion first, followed by the regular meeting. And I'll now ask Carlos to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Mm -hmm. All right, Carlos. Wow. Oh. Good to you, guys. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America. America. And, and to, to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Chair turned. That brings us to the proposed budget for fiscal year 21 22. Dr. Wilson, do you want to start the discussion? I absolutely will, and I'll start that discussion by sending it over to Ms. Perez. Good evening, board president, members of the board. Um, just going to give you a quick overview of our budget. Um, first of all, I'd like to give um, you an overview of the timeline um, that we have. <coughs> just waiting for Carlos. Okay, um, so every year we go through a cycle where there are a number of times in the year that we're working on multiple uh, fiscal years. Uh, this June, we'll be working on the proposed budget, which the board approved at the last meeting. Uh, we are now uh, presenting to you the, the, that proposed budget for board, uh, for board adoption. Then in October, what we'll be working on is the fiscal year that just ended on, that will be ending on June 30th. We'll come back and do the annual financial report to give you an actual um, overview of what uh, took place during the fiscal year. Then in December, um, if the state requires, based on statutory requirements, if we need to come back and make a revision to the budget that you're being adopted, that's when we, uh, we would be presenting. Then a year um, in May of 2022, we, um, the state requires us to do a budget revision. That's when we'll be coming back and doing for the fiscal year 22. Um, and then we begin the cycle again with the following year in June and then in October. Um, budget highlights for this year, um, as you know, the state has not adopted a budget yet. Um, therefore, this proposed budget includes um, a, a, a very high level estimate um, based on what we know from the, uh, from the state. Um, one of the things that I wanted to, in, um, to make sure that you understood is that it does not include the, any increases to the base level adjustment that are expected simply because of the fact that the state has not adopted the budget. We don't have revised forms uh, that come to us. So we didn't want to go um, in and give you a budget that was on misinformed, um, uh, incorrect information. So I wanted to give you at least what we knew that was for sure. Uh, ADM, um, just like we do every year, we do a very, con you know, take a very conservative approach in terms of how we uh, uh, budget. In this, um, in this particular case, we are projecting a 6% ADM decrease over this past year. And again, simply because a large portion of our ADM is uh, satellite funding, 
and we don't know what's going to happen at the satellite, so we like to always um, budget accordingly. Um, in, uh, I gave you here, um, in, in comparison, the last three years, um, in this past year, we um, made uh, the board adopted an initial budget of with a 20, uh, a 12 percent decline. Um, the actual decline was only 7 percent, and it was mostly in our satellite districts. Um, then prior years, we had um, each year budgeted for a 5 percent decline, and as you can see, prior to that, we had seen an increase as opposed to a decline. Um, the bo this budget does reflect the 6% that the board approved for, uh, for salary increases. Um, it also includes the average teacher salary, which is required by statute that we post. Um, for this upcoming year, our average will be 59531 And just to clarify, that does not include any performance pay that the district um, pays, such as the 301 uh, funding that the district pays. Um, so this budget includes the base uh, level amount that's the same as this prior year, which is funded at the 4359 um, Then we calculate that times the additional money that we get for being a, a, a JTED, CTED. Um, so in essence, um, when you look at the numbers, we have an equalization base of $45 million, $628. Um, Part of that comes in from uh, the district, including that includes the uh, district additional assistance the additional money that the district gets for capital. Um, the numbers for the assessed valuation, this is what determines how much money the district will get from equalization and how much money comes in from the tax levy, that five cent tax that, that we have. The, our budget is primarily composed of our m and This is the distribution um, where we have 9.2 uh, million going into salaries, then approximately 28% goes into the benefits. Uh, we have purchase services that you know includes from janitorial audit. Um, if we do happen to have an election, that goes in there as well. Um, we have other services. We have supplies uh, for the different programs. And then we jumped into classroom site fund, which is our 301 funding. Uh, this is uh, a projection based on prior year ADM. That number we do have uh, from the state, so this is what we're expecting and projecting for the upcoming year. Your unrestricted capital outlay, that was the district additional assistance. Um, so um, in this case, every year, if there's any fund balance remaining, we do roll that over into our capital, and this is what allows us to do the construction projects, such as what the East Campus expansion and, um, and any renovations that we may be doing for, the, for this campus as well. Um, we also have federal, uh, state, and other funds. Federal, we have uh, Perkins, we have Pell Grants in our adult ed, uh, education. And this year, we received additional funds with the ESG and the ESSER grants that were funded out of the um, CARES Act. We also have um, state projects uh, that include the CTE industry certification uh, uh, along with other priority grants. And then in our other funds, that's where we have all of our adult education. We have our Civic Center, which is any rentals. Um, any money that we collect from students on those fees that the board previously approved, tax credit, donations, any of the enterprise funds, those are all um, grouped into the other funds. Questions? No questions. Okay. <laughs> None from the public? No questions. Then we'll move to adjournment of the special hearing. I have a motion. Also move. Second. Second. Was, there, was there a second? David Lane seconded that. I, I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Do we have a second? Yes. Okay. Lane. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. Ms. Bob? Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. And Carrie? 
Special hearing adjourned. I'll now open the regular meeting of the EBIT governing board and we'll move to 6A, 6B, the proposed expenditure budget for fiscal year 21-22. Do I have a motion? So moved by Doolin. Second. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Boggs, will you call? Yes. Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. Can carry. <clears throat> that brings up uh, action item. Are we at six? Yes. Lost my plate. Six A. Six A. Regular meeting minutes for the June 14, <clears throat> June 14 meeting. Do I have a motion? Doolin recommends approval of the meeting minutes from June 28th. June 20, I thought it was June 14th. Oh, sorry, June 14th. <laughs> Today's the 28th from June 14th. I amend that. <laughs> we already have today. There are I'm hurrying now. fast. <laughs> We have a second. I will second. Bugs. Is there any, there any discussion? I will offer the vote. Oops. Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? I abstain. I wasn't here. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. And Gary? That brings us to item seven, all public. Dr. Wilson, do we have anything in this category? Uh, no, sir, we do not. That brings us to item, and to item eight, A, this is not, approval of certified and classified personnel requests. Do I have a motion? This is Doolin, recommend approval of the certified and classified personnel requests. I'll second. Is there any discussion? None. I'll call for the vote. Ms. Boggs. Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. And Perry. That brings us to 8B. Who hired personnel? I'll move that we uh, approve the new hires of instructional staffs upon approval of all the other stuff they have to go through. <laughs> <laughs> Fleetum <Well> seconds that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll second that. Uh, is there any discussion? We'll call for the group then on 8B. Ms. Bob? Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins. Aye. And Terry. That brings us to 8C, placement incentive for adult staff. Do I have a motion? I'll move that we approve the placement incentive for the adult staff with item 8C. I'll second. Second. Is there any discussion? Um, Mr. President, members of the governing board, as a reminder, um, adult staff is not part of our 301 plan. And so we carve out for them the opportunity to get some of that same incentive in our 301 plan through the placement. So the dollar amount that is calculated uh, this year is $4,778. Um, that's up from last year's placement of 4486 the difference is honestly because we did a better job placing students. Um, and so this would be uh, equivalent uh, in years past of approving for adult staff to have the same opportunity as the high school staff for placement. I have a question. So when we're calculating this for adult staff, is it based off high school numbers or their own numbers? Combined. 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 Um, as, is, as is on the high school, I believe. My recommendation is is we start to grow adult ed, we're going to need to look at separating mm -hmm. that because there's different metrics that we mm -hmm. should be looking at for adult ed for compensation. Um, I'm just going to throw this out there why this is a discussion point. I also think that we need to look at not calling it 301. Adult ed should mm -hmm. have different kind of bonusing structure. Mm -hmm. 
because they're not high school. It is a different model. Just my two cents. Correct me if I'm wrong. We did have the vote on this, correct? You're being asked to vote on it tonight, well, correct? This yes. Is discussion. I thought, oh, this is still discussion. Okay. <laughs> is there any further discussion? Hogs, all for the vote. Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. Watkins? Aye. And carry. That brings us <clears throat> to item number nine, consent agenda. On this item, I would like to consider all items except section F, which we will handle with a separate motion and vote. We have a motion. I'll move that we approve the consent agenda uh, 9A through E. I'll second that motion. That was Doolin. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. Ms. Bob? Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. Watkins? Aye. And carried. Item F. I believe there's a mistake in that item because there's a board member's name missing from the people intending to travel to the conference. That would be me, Watkins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I noticed it right away. Uh, so that's too I bad. Would consider, <laughs> I would consider a motion then to amend F to include uh, Watkins. What? Do I have a motion? I'll move to approve uh, move. item uh, 9F uh, to include uh, Mr. Watkins to the list who was uh, inadvertently admitted. Was there a second? I'll second it. Is there any discussion? Yeah. I want to add, for a brief moment, I wondered if someone was trying to send me a message. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have any faculty attending? I'm sorry? Do we have any faculty attending? Uh, no, but we can ask if, there be, if we want to send. I think it would be very important. I mean, sure. I, I think it's great that board members want to go and learn more, but we really need faculty present. Sure. So they can bring back yeah. those items I and agree. put them in the classroom. Good idea. That's what matters. No more discussion. Ms. Boggs, will you call for the vote? Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. And Terry? <laughs> <clears throat> that brings item number 10 up. 10A is the satellite programs for Higley High School, oh, Fountain Hills High School. I have a motion. I'll move we approve uh, the satellite program for Fountain Hills. Is there a second? I'll second. Boggs. In discussion. Mr. President, members of the governing board, this is in alignment with what we've done with our understanding districts in terms of the monitoring of their programs. Um, this is a bit different in that Fountain Hills up until this next year was a subsidiary of actually, was actually EVID. It wasn't a subsidiary, we, we ran the programming and, and we, we worked with Fountain Hills to separate that relationship. And so there, this is the first uh, time in a number of years that they will be operating their own satellite classes. And so that's why you see that there are, you know, not applicable, not appropriate um, for several of the areas because they're sequenced courses that won't happen until the second year. And this is the first year of the programming. Mm -hmm. Question, Dr. Wilson. Are they going to use some of the facilities that we left there for them for all the CTE they're going to have, or is it going to be um, abandoned? Or you don't know? I would wager the answer to that is no. I, I think it's a no. Yeah. I, I think they're going to operate their satellite programs on their high school campus, and we didn't, we didn't impact their high school campus. We 
impacted their former elementary, mm -hmm. at which time they're trying to operate it the same way we were in terms of having businesses there. And so I don't believe that they're going to run their satellite classes out of that um, old uh, elementary. It's going to be on their high school campus. Is there any further discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for the vote. Boggs? Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. And carried. That brings us to 10 e for satellite programs for the Mesa District High School. Do I have a motion? Sorry. We got crickets here. I'll make a motion to approve the satellite programs at Mesa District High Schools. Well, it's by school. I'll second it. Second. Is there any discussion? It's district, right? I said district. It's by oh, okay. high schools how it's presented, but we can do it that way. Yeah. So, Mr. President, I missed, I missed what that was. There was a question by Mr. Lane because it's separated in our packet by high school, but the, we're approving the entire district. Correct. But it is in our, if you look at the attached literature, it divides it out by high, by high school, school for our ease of viewing. But it is the entire district. Correct. Right. It's, all, it's all high schools in the district, correct? Yes. Uh, Mr. President, members of the governing board, like Fountain Hills, uh, the, this is the process and that we have in our IGA uh, to recommend approval for our sending district programs. Uh, Mesa is the last of our sending districts that we'll be approving tonight, but I do want to let you know that we're going to be bringing some back because not all of, not just Mesa, we have some from Scottsdale and some from others that are, are not quite ready yet. So um, this will be the last of the bulk of the program approvals for Mesa, but there may be some lingering ones from other districts. Uh, get into the end of the summer. Thank you. Any further discussion? I have a question, mm -hmm. and I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Mm -hmm. There was a podcast or a um, presentation that talked about Mesa and that they were going to be busing between their campuses. I would like to know if that's occurring. Um, it is not yet occurring, I don't believe. Um, I know that there was mention of it, but it's not yet occurring. Um, and I don't know that it will be next year because their Mesa has committed to busing to us next year, not amongst themselves. Um, I do think that that was a, a discussion of future possibility, but not for the 21-22 school year. I would like to have our attorney look into the, mm -hmm. if that was a way that they were looking to go, how that mm -hmm. impacts our agreements. Sure. I'd like to make a statement uh, about this. Uh, while the law does not require me to uh, abstain in the interest of uh, transparency and concern of people in the past years, I will not vote on this Mesa portion of this. Abstain. Thank you. Any further discussion? Is there a question? Uh, no, I don't believe no. so. No. I thought she had a question. <clears throat> then I'll call for the vote. I'm going to call and let you abstain. Lane? I abstain. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. Motion carried. That brings us to C, request for CJEDS or Higley Virtual Academy. Do I have a motion? So clarification, that's a CTDS number for Higley Virtual Academy? Yeah. Correct. Um. We need a motion before we discuss. I 
I'll move that we approve the uh, Higley uh, Virtual Academy CTED or what? what CTBS number. CTBS, yeah. That's the right acronym at the moment. CTDS. For a second. I'll second. In discussion. Mr. President, members of the governing board, one of the two of the programs Higley um, asked for approval were uh, programs that they're able to operate online, cybersecurity and coding, um, and their virtual high school. They'd like to include those as part of their virtual high school program, which um, I think actually makes sense, to be honest with you. Um, and in order to do that, they need to have a CTDS number. Um, and in order to get that number, the EVIT Governing Board has to approve that um, request, and then they can submit that approval to ADE and get their CTDS number. I have a question on mm -hmm. this. Because this changes the ag IGA agreements, because I don't believe we've done this before, I would ask that we have legal look at this, mm -hmm. because I think be approving it before we have legal look, because part of the IGA agreement was that students also be allowed to come to our campus and since we don't have a virtual component we might need to look at that IGA and how we format that in this incidence and moving forward with virtual campuses I'm not against it mm -hmm. by any means just so everybody's clear I just don't believe we've addressed it and we've mitigated EVIT's because this could be a trend that moves forward mm -hmm. rapidly and it would impact EVIT campus greatly if we do not address it right up front from the beginning um. Ms. Dula, I, think, I, I mean, we can have uh, Kevin absolutely look at it, and I think that makes sense to make sure that, that we're understanding the legality, the legalness of it. I think that part of the, the, the challenge is going to be, it's in some ways, it's a satellite, even though I understand it's virtual. Um, there is a funding mechanism that's different in the satellite virtual than brick and mortar, uh, virtual, uh, brick and mortar programming, so that's going to offset a bit of what we have to understand. Um, I do give Higley credit in that I do think that there are some programs that mm -hmm. should be done, that could be done virtually. Um, and so I'll have Kevin a look at it when he gets back and we'll bring it back to you on the 12th. Okay, so I, I'll make a motion to table. I'll second it. Any discussion? Hugs, call for the vote. Okay, we're voting this is on to, to table. table. Is that correct? To table. Correct. Correct. Okay. Lane? No. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? You said aye. Excuse me. Sam Watkins? Aye. Sorry. Aye. Motion carried. Now we have a motion and a second, correct, that we have not voted on yet. Is there any discussion on the original motion? Well, it's a moot point. Yeah, I believe that what you just voted on was to table it. To table. Yes. Yes. Table it, right. Oh, we're tabling the entire thing. I misunderstood right. that. Right. Right. Okay. That's too bad you already <clears throat> Then that brings us to D, policy revision. Do I have a motion there? Also move. I'll second. Any discussion? Hearing none, Ms. Pog, will you call for the vote? Lane? Aye. Covington? Aye. Doolin? Aye. Hart? Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum? Aye. Hobson? Aye. And Watkins? Aye. Motion carried. That brings us to E. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Welders. Can we combine E and F? Yes. I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve E and F. I have no problem with that. I'll any second. On, I'll second Hart's motion. Two combined. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> Ms. Bog, you call for the vote. Lane. Aye. Covington. Aye. Doolin. Aye. Hart. Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum. Aye. Hobson. Aye. And Watkins. Aye. Motion carried. That brings us to G, mission statement update. I have a motion. I would like to hear what the mission update is first. <laughs> Can you present that to us? I know, but, it, oh, that's right. I did read that. Thank you. Oh, that's right. 
Oh. I'd like an acronym for that or something else. Okay, I'll look for one for you. Okay. <laughs> right now. How about a synonym? Synonym will work too. Okay. Better. That one. would be better. <laughs> Any further discussion? Yes, we're looking for something. Hold on one sec. We have an issue. That one? Yeah. Okay. That's what I was thinking. Um, you want to present it? Yeah. Okay. I, I'd like to make the motion to approve it, except changing one word in it, loving to caring. It would be caring for. Caring for our students. Um, may I ask why? He doesn't I think like it. loving can imply some other things. What could loving <laughs> imply that would be problematic? There, there, it's just not a word I think that we should, it, it's a word I don't like. In, in, in that <laughs> <statement>. <laughs> he doesn't like, he love. Doesn't like love. <laughs> well, he just got the other stuff in there. I mean, I care. I think caring is, is a, a better word than loving. I actually agree with Mr. Covington on this. It is your guys' decision, but I absolutely disagree. I, I mean, I, for the two and a half years I've been here, the I mantra know, like, I, I'd, like to, I'd like to finish, the mantra I've stuck on is that we will change lives by loving our students and serving our community. And loving is not soft, loving can be harsh, but loving is exactly what has allowed us to go from where we were to where we're at now. You can choose caring if you want. Can we combine caring, them? Loving and caring? Loving and hearing? Yes. Yeah, that'd be okay. I don't see a problem. Can you recite that when people ask you if you ask no, loving and caring? No, I will not recite that. I will not. I will not. And the reason that this is the case is quite honestly because as we start getting prepared for our COE visit, a lot of what we have in terms of what we say doesn't match the mission statement that we have published. And that's, gonna, that's potentially a problem in our accreditation. And so the mission statement that was established here was done long before most of us were in the organization. And I'm not a big fan of going through a mission statement, revisit, bringing in a consultant, having the whole process. I think that that becomes just labor intensive and, and produces no end and good. Since I've sat here in front of you, I have cited what I've cited here time and time again. I don't think I've changed since I've been here. So to me, we are that. Well, we have a motion, so. Can you please recite second. the motion? Yes. Do you, what's the current motion to approve it as is, right? No. I, don't, I don't know that no, that is no, the motion. The motion on the table is to change it, it from caring, or, or from, from loving, loving to, to caring. caring for. Okay. That's the motion on the table. Okay. Was there a second on that motion? Not yet. I didn't hear it. It's okay. Mr. Covington says it's okay that there's no second. There's no second, it's okay. You have a different so, motion. So, so then I'll make the motion. Second, I will propose that we uh, yeah. approve it as presented. I'll second that. <laughs> I lost, that's okay. <laughs> I'm confused, because someone. <laughs> We're doing it as is, is. <laughs> no changes. As is. As is. Uh, uh, yeah, any further discussion? Hearing none. I'll call for the vote, Ms. Boggs. Lane. Aye. Covington. Dr. Wilson. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> for the record, Doolin. I would love to vote for this. Aye. Oh, great. <laughs> oh my God. It's Hart. Great. Aye. Boggs is an aye with hearts. Fleeta. <laughs> Lovingly, aye. <laughs> Hobson. Aye. Watkins. And we have fun. Aye. Motion carried. <laughs> and that brings us to staff reports. Um, Dr. Wilson. Mr. Mr. President, members of the governing board, not a ton to report here. Just a reminder that we have a meeting on the 12th. I know some of you all have to zoom in and some can't be here, and I apologize for that. The idea and the goal on the 12th is to have finally push for GMP 2.3 and some of the ancillary costs associated with that, meaning the third floor build out. 
Um, also, as an update in our enrollment, um, we're running about 300 students ahead of where we were this time last year. Wow. wow. Which, yeah, um, and I anticipate that's going to go up. Um, I don't know what we're look, what it looks like at the satellite uh, campuses, but I know for us that, that enrollment hasn't uh, slowed down. It's, it's continued to increase, and so that's, that's a positive, and we're excited about that. Staffing is going relatively well. Um, we have a couple positions that are open um, that, that, that we'll talk about next time we're together, um, but staffing is going relatively well. Uh, Angela Jones has done a, just a masterful job staying on top of, of our needs. Um, New teachers come back, I believe, in three weeks. Returning teachers two weeks after that, and then school starts, I believe, August 2nd. So before you know it, we're going to be right back in the middle of the, the school year. Um, and last but not least, I just want to tell you guys I love you. <laughs> thanks. Hey, thanks, Chip. <laughs> Dr. Wilson, since you mentioned the July meeting on the 12th, is that the only meeting in July, or do we have another one? No, that's the only I'm meeting out. we have. In, that's the only meeting we have in July. We weren't scheduled to have any, um, and but we needed this one to, to, to finish the procurement up for 2.3. So that's the only one we have. It's always oh. subject to change. I know it is. It says as needed. You may need 20 more of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm still in Alabama then, so I wanted to know if we were going to have one on the 12th, and I didn't have my notes with me when I came. So we do okay. have one on the 12th, but we don't have a I second I mean, on one. the uh, later in July. No. That's the only one in July. Correct. We're scheduled at this moment. Okay. That moves us to closing items, lovingly. <laughs> uh, are, there any, <laughs> are there any agenda changes for future meetings? Uh, did you want to bring that Yes, point? I, of course. Yes, I have. Just to make sure we're clear. Um, the Higley take to a, uh, legal to make sure we understand that and we're moving forward with that. The other thing I would like to have clarification on or some supporting documentation is I have gotten a lot of phone calls talking about your enrollment and texts about students wanting to come as sophomores because so many students during COVID have taken online courses or are ahead credit wise mm -hmm. and they want to come as sophomores. And I don't think we've done a good job of allowing that or communicating that. So just an update on what that is, how that would work, if that's a possibility. And then the last thing I would like to put on the list is a salary schedule. And I wanna say my rationale for this. We approved a 6% raise. Mm -hmm. I was against a 6% raise for one reason and one reason only. When you give a 6% cost of living raise, it doesn't affect the salary schedule. So when that person quits and we go to recruit, we're starting back at the bottom. We cannot find enough people in certain positions in this institution with our salary schedule where it is. So instead of us continuing to do these 6% raises each year, I would like to have us look at really looking at the salary schedule so that we have the opportunity to recruit and be higher on the salary schedule instead of just doing these one time 3% because as soon as that person leaves and you go to hire the next, it We're puts you down. at a disadvantage. I would like to look for a permanent solution. I concur. Any further discussion on the calendar? Uh, yes, I'd like to add, uh, uh, Ms. Doolin had mentioned something about uh, the adult ed funding mm -hmm. uh, model. Uh, if we can add something there as well. That, that might be part of the salary schedule. That could be part of the it salary. It should be part of the salary schedule because okay. it should be, we shouldn't be was. modeling adult ed after high school. They're yeah. two mm -hmm. distinct. But two separate. Mm -hmm. Correct. Two separate the 301. Mm -hmm. One's eligible for 301, one's not. Mm -hmm. Any further discussion? That brings There's us. There's also a suggestion about uh, make, it was also a suggestion about making sure that uh, uh, faculty were uh, invited on, oh, yeah. and I, I think we should get a report back about that to the oh, conference. Oh, in thanks, New Yeah. Good one, Bill. Thank I you. agree. Any any further better. discussion? I approve B. Adjournment. <laughs> 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 yes. Ms. Boggs, will you call for a vote? Lane. Aye. Covington. Aye. Doolin. Aye. Hart. Aye. Boggs is an aye. Fleetum. Aye. Hobson. Who said it? Watkins. Aye. Go Suns. Go Suns. <laughs> yeah. Meeting adjourned. That's right. <laughs>